Kepler for NBC Charlotte. Rachel, thanks so much. And this morning, the FBI is asking for the public's help, for your help, to find a missing Charlotte teenager. So take a look at your screen. This is 16-year-old Haley Burns. She has Asperger's syndrome, and she was last seen at her home on Baldwin Hall Drive in South Charlotte on May 23rd. Her father says that she has a history of chatting with men online. So he limited her access to computers and the phone. However, he thinks somehow the conversations continued, prompting her sudden disappearance. If you know anything about where Haley might be, please call police. This morning, people now joining in the search for a 16-year-old girl who disappeared in Ballantyne. The FBI now helping the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department look for Haley Burns. They say she was last seen on May 23rd at her home along Baldwin Hall Drive. Burns has several medical conditions that require medication, including Asperger's syndrome, and she didn't take any of the medication with her. Tonight, Channel 9 spoke with her parents who believe that she might have been lured away by someone. She had printed out the state statutes for transporting a minor across state lines. And marrying. This was a, this was a plan that had been formed over a long period of time. Now, the family says that they did not allow her to go online, but she might have used a friend's phone. They put up missing posters around their neighborhood. And if you have seen her or know where Burns is, call the police. Today, we're asking what started this. 437 this morning, the FBI asking for your help to find a Charlotte teenager. 16-year-old Haley Burns has been missing since May 23rd. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Brown spoke with the teen's father who wants to warn other parents about the dangers of the internet. This is the worst nightmare that any parent could ever expect. It's been nearly one month since Tony Burns has seen his daughter. 16-year-old Haley Burns went missing between midnight and 6 a.m. on May 23rd. We woke up one morning to go wake her up for school like we do every single day and there was nobody there. Tony says his daughter had a history of chatting with men on the internet, so he quickly began limiting her access to computers and smartphones. But he thinks somehow, somewhere, the conversations continued, prompting her sudden disappearance. This is happening a lot to people right now, not just to me. I hear about it with the police that I'm talking to and the FBI that I'm talking to. Internet crimes experts urge parents to monitor their child's activity and keep social media private so strangers can access their information. These apps, Mama Bear, Teen Safe, and Net Nanny, also allow parents to view what their child is texting, viewing, and downloading. The FBI says there is reason to be concerned. Even more so, Haley has Asperger's syndrome. Not only do we not know where she is or who potentially she could be with, um, she also has those medical conditions that will make her a, a bigger issue to be concerned about. And that was Rachel Brown reporting. Anyone with any information could call, should call the FBI's Charlotte Field Office. That's at 704-672-6100 or Crime Stoppers at 704-334-1600. Time right now is 4 about their missing 16-year-old daughter. The special needs teenager hasn't been seen or heard from since May. WCCB Charlotte's Amy Calvin is live at CMPD headquarters with more on this investigation. Amy? Well, Haley Burns' parents say they know she is in danger because she would have contacted someone by now or posted something online. They say they also know from a friend of hers that she had been communicating online with an older man who they say they believe convinced her to leave home. It's like a piece of your body is missing, and you're just trying to function, but you're missing your heart. Anthony and Shannon Burns' heart is 16-year-old Haley. They woke up May 23rd, and she was gone from the home where she lives with her 9-year-old twin siblings. It's just agony. Every day you wake up and you think... Is like in dead somewhere. The Burns say Haley has Asperger's and struggled with other special needs, so she turned to the internet to make friends. She really wasn't 16. She was like maybe 12. She was so naive and so impressionable and so easily manipulated. She wanted to be on the computer all the time. She'd been bullied in junior high school and didn't have a whole lot of friends, so she decided to make her friends online. Anthony and Shannon say Haley went on inappropriate chat sites in the past, so they restricted her computer use, took her cell phone. But friends say she used their phones and the media center at Myers Park High School, where she was a freshman. We tried to tell her, we tried to warn her, but she just thought that she could do it. 
She thought that it was going to be one thing, and it was probably something entirely different, but by then it was too late. CMPD and FBI are investigating and checking all computers and phones Haley might have used. It's like we live in a Lifetime movie, and I don't want to. It's a living nightmare. We just want to know that she's okay and that she's safe. CMPD and FBI say they are investigating. They are following up on several leads. However, so far there are no suspects. They do ask anyone who has any information about her whereabouts or where she could be to contact police. Reporting live in Uptown, Amy Kalman, WCCB News. Now the FBI is in need of your help to find a missing teenager from Charlotte. 16-year-old Haley Burns disappeared from her home in South Charlotte back in late May, and she has not been seen since. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Roller joins us live now. So, Rachel, um, Haley has Asperger's syndrome, and her family, I can imagine, must be so, so worried. They are, Carolyn, and that's definitely adding to the list of concerns for the FBI as well. Now, we did talk to Haley's father. He has a warning for all parents this morning. Take a listen. We woke up one morning to go wake her up for school like we do every single day, and there was nobody there. It's been nearly one month since Tony Burns has seen his daughter Haley. The 16-year-old went missing on May 23rd between midnight and 6 a.m. Tony says it's been like a nightmare ever since. This is the worst nightmare that any parent could ever expect. Burns tells us Haley had a history of chatting with men online, so he limited her access to computers and smartphones. But he thinks somehow, somewhere, the conversations continued, prompting her sudden disappearance. This is happening a lot to people right now, not just to me. I hear about it with the police that I'm talking to and the FBI that I'm talking to. Haley's so. father and authorities say you have to monitor what your kids are doing online. They might not know the danger they're putting themselves in. And if you have any information, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers or the FBI Charlotte Division. I'm going to tweet out that number in just a second. You can go ahead over to my Twitter, at Rachel Roller. We're live in Charlotte. Back to you. Rachel, thanks. Right now at Amber. Teens vanished. I'm drowning in sadness every day without her. I'm Erica Bryant. Nine investigates the rise in local cases. Families desperate for answers. And after months or years, the leads turn cold. Your entire life shifts. And everything's about just a clue. What police say some parents don't know that could put their kids at risk. I just want my baby back. Thursday at 5 on Channel 9 Eyewitness News. A rise in missing person cases. Nearly 2,000 people have been reported missing in Mecklenburg County alone so far this year. A Channel 9 investigation uncovered many of the victims are teenagers who appear to have simply vanished. Eyewitness News anchor Erica Bryan talked to a Charlotte mother and father who think a total stranger lured their daughter away. This is uh, her room. For the first time in five months, Anthony and Shauna Burns entered their daughter's bedroom. It's exactly like it was the, uh, the day she left it. It's been blocked off, too painful to enter since 16-year-old Haley disappeared. It just hurts too much to come in here and her not be here. It's just agony. They woke up on May 23rd, found the front door unlocked, and Haley gone. As we were going through her room, we found a list of rules that we believe that this individual was giving her to follow. The couple says they found more than 10,000 messages online. Haley appeared to be communicating with an older man who made her call him daddy. And he always wanted her to wear her hair in pigtails and to be sucking on a pacifier. You saw this list of instructions. Yes. From an unknown yes. man. And it said rule, daddy's rules at the top of it. The guy covered up the, tra the tracks. They're all gone. There's nowhere to find her. CMPD and the FBI are now involved in the effort to find Haley. She joins a growing list of the missing in Mecklenburg County. Channel 9 uncovered 2016 numbers, quickly outpacing 2015, with each CMPD detective handling four to 500 cases. But between five detectives handling uh, 22 to 2,400 cases a year, 
Uh, it's a lot of pressure on them. Sergeant Todd Walter says most of those cases involve juveniles between the ages of 13 and 17, with predators luring some young girls into human trafficking. And it turns out that these men are just using these young girls as prostitution. Police say many parents don't realize their child has a cell phone provided by someone else and that they're using computers at school, the library, or at friends' houses to talk to strangers. Well, it's not uncommon for us to find kids halfway across the country. Detective uh, A.L. Hart tracks missing teens and is working to find Haley Burns. Having searched all over social media, he thinks she's still in the U.S. and he hopes her fellow classmates at Myers Park High School will provide the tip to bring her home. She'll know that her dad not once forgot about her. Meantime, Haley's father writes to her every day. He and his wife worry constantly about the unknown. That's your worst fear is that your baby is out there somewhere calling for her mom and wanting her mom. And I can't find her. I just want my baby back. Now, Haley has special needs, and we're hopeful that she will be back home. Last year, CMPD cleared 98% of its missing person cases. Detectives are saying that anyone who believes that their loved one is missing should contact the police immediately. For more information about Haley's case or to report tips, go to WSOCTV.com, click 9 Investigates, and look inside my story.